Hello guys, Fierce Spyro here coming to you with a Lars more video. And today I want to talk about familiars. Now, I already recorded this video before, but it came out to 51 minutes of me just talking about familiars and I had and that's very that's too much of a big video to show for you guys. So today right now I am planning to cut it into parts. Uh right now so in this video I'll call it part one and then I'll see how long the, the video lasts, hoping it this is around 10 minutes, but here we go. Now, familiars. Familiars, they have four buildings. These four buildings are the monster hold, the spire, the spring, and the gym. Now, the monster hold has not really nothing special when you level up. This is where you keep all your familiars, as well as where you open packs, and where you level up the familiars' abilities, as well as their levels. You do it right here, where you get, where you can use fragments and XP potions to increase their uh, their level. Now, their spires. What spires are is the building where you're going to be merging your packs as well as your skill stones. Now, for, uh, the skill stones, the the stats that are given in this building are per building, so you have multiple spires. The number stacks up, so you have three at level twenty-one. You have a total of eighteen merging pa uh, packs you can merge at once, as well as three skill stones you can do at once. Now springs, springs you can consider them your manner due to the fact that it gives an animal production hourly rate as well as animal storage, um, so just like a any research production building. But it also gives you merging speed boosts, like a Manor will give a a barrack on training speed boost. Now these uh, now anima is a very important uh, resource that's only that's used for mainly familiars. And what it, what you use it for is on merging packs themselves. They cost they use anima as well as skill stones. They require a huge amount of anima and research. Now specific research. Well, I will look, go into later to show how much anima it uses. But you do have to know that you need a lot of anima. You can of course buy anima off the market um, for, with jams or just get them out of cargo if you don't want to worry about producing enough anima. And there's also the gym. Now the gym is where you train your familiar using heroes which um, give XP to level to give levels to the heroes for free instead of using fragments for them. Now, this gyms, like I say, sir, every gym lets you train one more familiar. The thing is, you can only use like, one hero per one. You can only use the hero in one familiar level up, and I'd use the same 29 to do two at once. You have to either separate in 10, 19, or in any other way. For research, we, oh, that's right. Okay, for research, there's the familiar research as m many guys have seen, and the research themselves use anima. Right at the very beginning, you don't need that much anima, but for the for the final ones, just, such as like merging pack four, you require a substantial amount of anima. I have heard some of these upgrades around around level two require about two to seven million anima. The level two to four upgrades, I don't know about the rest. Alright, all right. so research for anim for familiars. The memos you really want to focus animal anima harvesting. As I said, you do need a lot of anima for, to do many of the research. You have the merging pack, merging cost pack, gym training. Now merging cost pack, would, what it does, it releases the amount of resources you need to do each merge. As well as your training, which gives you more experience er, per training session in the gym. Now there is also the merging pack, merging cost for pack two. There's animal storage, which gives you a really good, good boost and merging speed. Now the rest, just like most research trees, have some fill research that don't really help you for anything uh, dealing with familiars. As you see, currently I'm unlocking pack three, which cost uh, seven hundred eighty-four thousand three quarters of a million anima. Now for another thing for familiars uh, that you need to know for basics is their gear. 
Now, Familiar Gear, you would think that it's many. Uh, I don't know if people may or may not know about them, but there is the pay to play kind of sort of gear, which is comes from the Voodoo Shaman gear set, and then there's the free to play, which is which you make these ones, the Mystic boxes, have some of the biggest boosts for familiar training XP and merging speed boost, which. And these mystic bosses, you get them off of, you can craft them just like your flutes and your construction rings. And they are from material you gather for free from your, from resource tiles, stuff like that. Now, a thing to, to note when you're working on your familiars, whenever you put time into it, it, it is very important for you to decide how you want to work them due to the fact that familiars merging packs every pack gives you either a rune or as you will know them as metals with heroes but it's runes with familiars or fragments and it's a random drop of either of them and in order to level up a familiar due to three stages that it has which are the is right here hatchling adult and elder stages to get it from hatchling to adult you need 20 usually 20 runes to get it up and as you can see here well those are the tier ones well around 5 to 15 i guess you need to get it to get it to the next one but then you require 120 to 80 depending what kind of tier it is as you can see by tier i mean Within the same merge pack, you can see like this ones are like the first stage, uh, or tier, first tier to second tier. Only second tier with a third tier, so on and so forth. And so, getting runes is a very important thing to work on, but also leveling up your familiars. So there's two different strategies on your buildings. One is the one I'm working. I have right now, which is All Springs. It's called a six one a one one six kind of deal, being one spire, one gym, and and six springs. Due to the fact, as I mentioned, the they stack up just like manners, and they give merging speed boost. This gives twenty percent right off the bat. At, well, at max rank at level twenty five, which really helps out reduce the amount you it takes to merge packs as you can see here i can merge nine packs at less than four hours but of course i also have gear backing that up and the research which is very important you're working on familiars work on that familiar training research now this is very good for upgrades as well because you can have a huge animal storage as well as production rate so you can just keep doing upgrades when needed and keep producing more and more uh, packs keep merging more packs now there's a second different strategy that is used whenever by by people that already have all the runes they need to level up their one familiar and they just want to train their familiars and give them xp now the reason you want to you people will go with this what what they do it will be having the same thing as 116 format but instead of six springs they have six gyms the reason for this would be each gym, each, each gym has a XP boost which goes out to 20% per gym along with your gear which helps you out give a good amount of experience to your familiars. Now having 6 of them will give you 120, X, uh, 120 XP boost not, can, not counting your the 75 you get right off the bat from just the 3 mystic boxes which will be a really good boost along with your heroes. Now the reason that strategy is used is because they can train one hero as you can I'm more familiar as you can see I'm training one in is an 18 hour period and it does it it, it gives 5776 experience which when you have all of them like that you you can get this number to 16000 and once you get a familiar past elder such as I have with Tempestite at elder max if I were to keep training elder um, Tempestite 
the experience that passes max rank, which is all of it, will go randomly into any one of the abilities that it has that is not maxed out yet. Uh, people do that to get to get them up faster due to the fact that they require a lot of experience to, to train them. This one requires 6,055, but my Tempest type requires 60,000 experience to get from 59 to 60. That's it for the first part of this video, which would be, which I just finished talking about familiar buildings, research gear, and strategies on the setup. Now on the next video, which I'll be posting later on the same day I released this video, and uh, it will be focusing on the f talking about other familiars, which ones I recommend, which ones help for the strategies, and tips on how to open, uh, how to open mer uh, packs the best way efficiently through what I've experienced due to the fact that I've been working on this for the past four months as well as I'll talk to you guys in detail about what skill stones are so I hope you're looking forward to that and I'll catch you on the next one peace